when I talk to people in the community, they certainly validate the fact that our schools and the quality of our school system is a tremendous asset to the value of the community. They perceive a quality school district as being essential to keeping property values up and high in the community. Post the last major discussion that the school district had about facilities, which was focused only on an early learning center, I think the district recognized that we had needs across all of our facilities and that in order to come back to the community and ask again for their support, we needed to take a global look at the needs of all of our facilities, including both the physical needs of the facilities as well as the educational needs of what's taking place inside. District like School District 200, there's a life cycle to the, the physical envelope of a school building. You can reasonably look forward and know when the life cycle of, of a school building is going to suggest to you that a roof needs to be replaced, that a mechanical system needs to be replaced. Lots of our buildings were built in similar time. Um, we had lots of, uh, of school buildings that were built in the 1950s, 1960s. The life cycle of our buildings has suggested we've got a lot of work that needs to happen now because it's time for those facilities to be renewed. The highest priority is the capital development work we need to do at all of our buildings. That means re-roofing, that means repaving parking lots, that means upgrading the windows, the heating and air conditioning systems at all of the schools. That's critical. It needs to be done. For our middle schools, we're focusing on three of the middle schools. Edison, Franklin, and Monroe. In all three schools, we want to improve and upgrade the science labs in all of those schools. We've also identified a need to improve the library learning center uh, at each of our middle schools. Another really significant uh, portion of our middle school projects, again, involves the capital needs uh, at each of the, the middle schools. Uh, our, our middle schools are a couple of the buildings that haven't been substantially touched in, in a while from a, a renovation perspective. We're also focusing on constructing a new early childhood learning center. Jefferson is totally inadequate in its current state to incorporate or have the early childhood learning center that we need. And the classrooms are out of date. They're not suitable at all for children with special needs. And so we've identified a new early childhood learning center and it's part of our master facility plan. The elementary projects include those physical needs across all of our elementary buildings. We've also at the elementary level have a proposed set of secured entries that we're reinforcing um, at several of our, our buildings. We've identified library learning center improvements at all of our elementary school buildings. At our high schools, we need to upgrade the Library Learning Center at Wheaton Warrensville South High School. At Wheaton North, they've targeted an improvement to a technology lab. We've come to the conclusion that if we want to do the financing we believe we need to do to upgrade our schools to 21st century learning and to address all of the capital requirements that we've identified for all our schools, we cannot finance that with our operating budget. That's impossible. The board is considering uh, putting a question of a referendum on the April 2017 ballot. We need to upgrade our buildings right now because we need to keep our facilities in good, safe, working condition. It's going to create learning environments that are appropriate for the types of instruction that we want to provide to students. Now is the time to make these upgrades to ensure that they continue to be the quality facilities that our community expects.